Yeah, all right, let's do it. All right, no time for a little recap. Let's jump right into it. We got the third pal key. Oh, come on, do it. Do the thing. Do the thing. You got the pal. Do the... Do the thing. Why are you not... There we go. <laughs> the interact button is uh, only if you're facing it. But if you press against it, you face away. Snake, now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Dot. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? Yeah. In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. What? Where are you? Very close by. Snake! That's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. God. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. <laughs> My brave man. All right, so they're flooding the room with gas. We've got a gas mask. Uh, there it is. I was going the, the uh, complete wrong way. And um, maybe let's check with our team. Snake, gas, do something. Snake. Call Emmerich. He should be able to break through security. Good idea. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. All right, so basically, uh, we just got to hold out. Not really much we can do. Oh, it's neat. They give you, if you go to first person view with the gas mask on. You got the uh, little outline for the shape of the gogs. I hacked into security. <clears throat> Snake, I'm opening the door. Do it. Cool. What? Hmm. 
This is kind of monochromatic, actually. You know what? Um, just before I go and do anything, we'll body armor up. How's our health? We we'll do with a little extra health, and we're going to run off to the right. Follow that man. Liquid. You know what? How about a little Kodak moment? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a play on the... Yeah. Because yeah. it's like a Kodak. Yeah. It's an old bit. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll save it to a new, new block. do this. Liquid! Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. <laughs> and you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly, with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the Genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. <laughs> anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by Fox Dye. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But, I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. Snake, your blood will be 
the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. <laughs> Stop it. Uh oh. So why I, I don't know why liquid's shirtless all the time. <laughs> Gotta show off. I, mean, I guess when you're doing two hundred crunches, you know, every morning. You need to show that off. Word for it. They put that gun. <laughs> I don't remember how to fight him. Oh boy. Uh, first of all, body armor up. Second of all, I believe you have to pop some chaff grenades. Third of all, Boom. Mm. You know what? I want to check with oh great. I want to check with the team real quick. They might have some insight. God help us. Metal Gear is moving. Snake, it's all riding on you now. You've got to stop that thing. But how? You'll have to ask Dr. Emmerich, the guy who made it. That's right. He designed this fucking thing. Okay. Got the damn designer here. Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah, try to hit that radome with a stinger missile. Yeah, so that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right. If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. <laughs> People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. All right. Um, you know, just to be on the safe side here, we'll use a ration, switch back to the body armor, and then I am going to collect on some. I know there's rations around here. You know what? Let's do another chaff. I think those things can't... I don't think they can lock on if I hit with the chaff. I'm in bad shape, man. Oh boy, am I in bad shape. Already out of rations, almost. And I'm only in round one. Yeah, you can't lock onto me. Oh my gosh, I'm getting smoked. I told you I'm a little rusty, guys. Oh, there's a ration. Use one body armor up. Maybe if I stay a little closer. Let's 
the wonder. Okay, uh... Cha? And then... Stinger. Doing some good damage. No, we're not. <laughs> Bad shape. I think there's another ration in here somewhere. So the chaff definitely helps. Let's throw another one. It buys us a second or two. We might get past round one here, but until he turns around... Yeah, until I can get a good angle on him. Come on, turn around. Maybe there's... Maybe I could use this moment to look for that other ration. I know there's another one around here. I keep popping shafts. To... Okay, there we go. All right. I'm gonna use it right away. Maybe they respawn. Might get another shot at it. There might be more. Maybe not though. Can I shoot him from behind? That's how you do it, man. Run. Did that do it? Pretty sloppy, but maybe. In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes, we 
we hunt jackals. Instead of foxhounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? Cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. You destroyed the radar. So badass. Impressive! You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Uh, no! Fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Now, in front of you, I can finally die. After Zanzibar, I was taken from the battle. Neither truly alive, nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon, it will finally end. They kind of expect you to shoot him. Can't do it. So, it's pretty intense through here. He's not using that radar dish anymore, so Chaff isn't going to do anything. I don't know if Stun will do anything. Wouldn't that be convenient? If I could just stun him. And then fire stingers at him. Just stay out of the line of fire. I don't think the stun did anything. Mm. That's not. I'm not doing good, man. I might have to redo this. I'm gonna get one shot. One shot. That's what I got. Maybe that health pack is. Hey, look, check it out. There's more rations. If I can get to him. Use him. Mm. And let's see if we can grab that other ration. Put some distance between us too. Oh, that was not good. Can you hide behind these things? Um, we're gonna find out. I think he's gonna lose me. Yeah, he doesn't know where I am. Wow. I actually kinda lost him. Nice. Shit. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty sure. Oh, that would have been the time to run. Okay, go for it. Nice. See that? I think I can squeeze off a shot. You want it? 
fire right into the cockpit, though. Now he definitely knows where I am. Oh, that's not good. That doesn't work. Oh, I'm in such bad shape. Stay under him. Oh, that did it. <sighs> Sorry, dudes. What happened? I think I can get him this time. These boss fights are tough. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, I think I gotta redo the whole thing though. Yeah, I gotta take out the dish. So we're gonna start out with the chat. This time though. So body armor, chaff. Just keep them chaffs going. Cause he can't lock onto me with that. No, turn around. He can't even hit me. We're gonna need another chaff out. Ooh. Did that not? Did it not throw it? What the hell? Oh. Okay. Totally smoked me. Not a good strategy. You gotta keep moving. <laughs> okay. Start out with the chaff. Keep the body armor on. That's awesome. Pop the chaff. Immediately get ready to look at that. It's two hits right away. And run, 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 run. Ooh. Get those chaff grenades ready. Don't mess around, man. Yeah, that was a uh... okay. Stinger. Bada bing, bada boom. Get out of there. You can't count on a missing. Keep them chaps going too. And let's not forget. Let's not forget to grab these rations too. Get another chap going. I think they give you plenty of them. Let's grab that other ration while we're here. We must have to fire one off get a chaff out between every missile shot. And, oh, before we do that, you know, let's fire off the shot. And let's get, I'm gonna use that and then grab it. Oh, I think we got it just in time. Because they're gonna respawn. We're gonna need every ration we can get. And then we're gonna skip this cutscene because we already know what happens. I don't know if we can just shoot him. Do it. There we go, can't do it. After Zanzibar, they don't let you skip it. Taken from the battle. Neither truly alive nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon it will finally end. Snake. 
maybe we can skip it. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So now, what did we, what did we discover was the trick? Okay. So it's definitely a stinger situation. It's definitely a body armor situation, and it's definitely a don't do it. It's definitely a not like hang out and wait to get shot situation. second to fire off a shot lock. Oh, that was so risky. Oh, that was so risky. I'll crush you into dust. lens effect. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish! <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things, oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get a billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. 
Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Th that was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les Enfants Terribles. The Terrible Children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the Super Baby Method. Super Baby Method? They fertilized an egg with one of Father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. <laughs> You're just the other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers, with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, 
The so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond in order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Look behind you! Meryl! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future. And even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Tie. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a PDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? That didn't take long. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that. P-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. Nice. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, 
What happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. <laughs> there won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. The way that David Hayter delivers that line. <laughs> you bastard. There's no way out for <laughs> us. So Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta have a gritty bare knuckle boxing match here. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. Have at you, Snake! Alright, I remember this is super tough. You gotta watch the patterns. Oh my god. Doesn't knock on. What's wrong, Snake? Move in. Take a shot. Oh, okay. Because I fell, I dodged his punch. Ah. He hits me way harder than me. We got no equipment, no rations, no body armor. Mm. It gets better to just do like a single punch. Yeah. Nice shot. And it'll take longer. Unless if you're sure. If you're sure you're getting the triple. But if you're not sure, oh, oh. it's going to blow. It's that charge thing that he does. Oh, 
Yeah, there's no gear. I got no gear. I'm in bad shape. That's not fair. No, oh, that was so close. Oh. It's going to blow. <sighs> no one's gonna get that on their first try, man. Come on, cut me some slack. Cut me some slack, Jack. Have at you, snake. Nope. How do you do the dodge? You want to crawl around? That's why you gotta just do the single hit. It might take longer. I don't know if I got enough time. Maybe a double hit. Nope, see, it went for the triple. And it slowed me down. Can't do that. What's wrong, snake? Could I even get out if I just tried the single hit? Hey, I can. Just go single hits. Look at that. Gives me enough time. Get out. Hey, look at that. But probably not enough time. I'm mm, not going to have enough time, man. Yeah, you got to get the triple sometimes. Good thing I didn't go for it there. Nice shot! Oh. Not fair. What's wrong, Snake? What's wrong, Snake? Not fair. You gotta do the one hit because you can't do a combo on him. He becomes invincible when he's flashing like that. Snake. Oh. It's the toughest fight in the game. Absolutely toughest fight. Ironic that it's all bare knuckle. I can do combos in the beginning. To really wear him down. Because you need that. You need those big combos in the beginning because he's got so much... You don't have that much time. Maybe that's it. You lure him out. Lure him out, and then you go for the trip. Now it's all single shots. Ooh. Man. How the hell do you do this on fire? Thumb's getting tired. You gotta play this with the D-pad. Oof. What's oh. wrong, snake? What's mm. wrong, snake? That's a good hit. Thumb is so tired. <laughs> oh my god. What's oh, wrong, cheap. snake? So cheap, liquid. You cheating scum. Cheating ass scum. I gotta pause. I need a break. My thumb's killing me. <laughs>
Get him move so fast. Oh. Have at you, snake. Oh. Triple hit. Good job. Okay, good job. Got him, got him. Oop. Okay. Triple. All right. You're getting smoked. It's all about the patterns, man. Seems like if he does a move like that, you can sometimes get three hits in. Like on the second, after he throws his shot. Like watch. Bam, and then he throws it, and then go. Triple. So there's the move, there's the move. You get him with the one, and you go for the triple. Yeah, that's it, that's it, I got him. I got him. One, and then go for the triple, boom. You lure him out with the one. And go for the trip. Oh, I am getting some good guards here. Oh, just when I said that. Hmm. Got to get one more ram on him. Yep. Look at how close it was. Oh. I feel like I got his patterns down this time though. We can really get some good hits on him in the beginning. Until he does that. You can fall off of there. I think we're actually falling. Nope, he's, uh, he's not to the second phase yet. Better hurry! It's going to blow! Nice shot! Oh! It didn't lock. Goes the one two. Ooh. Better hurry! It's going to blow. One, one two is one two. What draw, snake? It's that charge move. Oh, not fair. What draw, snake? I can still do it. <laughs> not fair. That was not fair. That one. You're going down. Going down, Liquid. Have at you, Snake. I'm gonna have a perfect run, watch. This one's gonna have a perfect run. Nope. <laughs> Damn it, did it again. I wonder if we could duck under his punches. Oh, 
It's funny the way he moves around. I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna run over there. I'm gonna run over there. Nice shot! It's like a safety spot to run off the side. One, two. Hit him with the one, and he does the one, two, and then you hit him with the triple. He's gonna do the charge any second watch. One, two, and then with the three. Nope, that did not work. That should have picked him clean the hell off. Yeah, if he charges, just dive off his side. No, get out of there! The one out of time. You only got a minute left, bro. No! <laughs> what a ripoff. Ah! Oh, what a ripoff. <laughs> it's killing me. Have at you, Snake. I guess you'd say I'm having a Les Enfants terror to leave her alone. He's going to pull some crazy shit. He was about to go for the ram. Did you see that? No! Oh my gosh, that was it. Oh, I'm so close. Is that not it? contain my excitement. It's like 2 a.m. I'm trying to... <laughs> I can't believe it. My arm is so tired. Camaro. Is that all you can say? Meryl, 
It must have been terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake, I wanted to see you again. Meryl. That's my Kodak. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon... Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. I believe in you, too. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? Otakon? He's... He's... fighting right now. Seems like she would call him With his Alec. old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us, too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me, too. outside you need some clothes there's my sneaking suit hurry up yeah why did liquid take off his shirt <laughs> that doesn't make any sense hurry mm, looking good snake <laughs> you stripped him down so you could have a bare knuckle boxing match with him. And then dragged him up to the roof of Metal Gear. Oh, shit, the camera just went wonky on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why would they give me rations? We got a 10 minute timer. Is shit about to go down? Damn, a surveillance camera! Oh, it's not over yet. Damn, no 
no keys. You got no guns? What the hell, man? Alright, keys. Oh, I have to take these guys out. Got it, Snake. Jump in. Jeez. Fire that machine gun with your weapon. Shoot him, Snake. One go to first person. There we go. Sweet. That makes it a little easier. I mean, a lot easier. Like a million times easier. Gee, but no. Look at this. Mission and barrel. They're not even strategizing. No strategy. Zero strategy. These guys have genome like modified genetics from the boss. They're complete nincompoops. Look at these nincompoops. Look at these idiots. They're gonna take over the world? Am I supposed to do something to this? Hey, yeah. I'm talking shit on them and... <laughs> Just blow the door, dude. Better to play this part in first person view, but I'm gonna get dizzy. I can't remember. You better keep it on the rations. Okay, Snake, let's go! I don't remember if there was a way to get your gear back. Because I could really use my body armor. Maybe if you didn't hit the brakes. We'll never make it. The snake, clear a path. Oh, come on. You did it, snake. Yes. Let's just go ahead and use that. Not yet, snake. It's not over yet! Liquid! Do I have to reload this thing? Dude, this was awesome. You got to ask that. You gotta have a chase scene. You gotta end your game on a chase scene. Don't let the balls to the wall. Like, fall out. Ooh. I just realized I don't think I, I ever played this part in first person. I think I always tried to shoot him like this. Which is okay. You don't get very accurate. Like with this, you can at least be a lot more accurate about as to where you're fighting. How would you even shoot over there? I'm not in first person. I'm not even gonna try. I don't even this guy. Oh, man. He shoots. What is he, have, like, bulletproof flesh, too? Oh, we are getting low on health. Look, Snake, daylight. We're that was sweet. Shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. 
Uh-oh. Snake! Come on, dude. If he's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake. I'm not a colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe... Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, 
Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life, too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. 
It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, most of all, you. Hey. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on. Let's enjoy life. Battle-hardened soldiers. I think you can settle down. Okay, so the bandana that she found, uh, that gives you infinite ammo. You actually get to carry that into the new game. Uh, plus, so to speak. I was to say, in the 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. The total destructive power amounted to one million times that of the A-bomb. In January of 93, START II was signed, and the United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads. Ugh, it's too fast. However, as of 98, there still exists 26,000 nuclear warheads in the world. That's a lot. Probably more now. So there are a couple of items that you can get, obviously. Uh, if you complete the game without being spotted, I think you get the tuxedo. I could be wrong about that. There is a tuxedo though. Just don't know how to unlock the tux. Uh, the bandana, uh, that's... Bandana gets you unlimited ammo, and I think you just get that for beating it. And it's pretty useful, obviously. Uh, there's a really amazing item the the stealth suit you can actually get a, a stealth camo like the ninja had which is as you can imagine extremely useful because ain't nobody can see you you can just walk right up and choke them out um man if i recall the team that developed this game i believe he said at one point wasn't much bigger than like 25 people Polygon demo authoring. I don't even know what polygon demo authoring would be. Cube digital? Oh, that must be for uh, some of the, if they're outsourcing some of the uh, cinematics. Hmm, yeah, that would be the movie unit. Why is there a movie unit? Borrowing scenes from Police Knots. Police Knots was another game developed by the same director this is all stock footage by the way if you ever wanted to make a film there's like stock footage that you can get of things like this <laughs> like airplanes and nature and things like that you just pay this like licensing fee for it whoa did yoji shinkawa actually do some modeling yeah that was the whole development team <laughs> Oh, and then they got their animation team. Okay, okay. So there's more. A lot of the same names under multiple roles. When, back in the day, so I started working in game development in 2003, and uh, most PS2 games at that time were developed by teams that were under 50 people. The development team we had at Capcom was only... Gosh... Yeah, there were like less than 25, maybe 30 developers at our biggest. Um, and then we'd spend only 18 months on a game. Now things are very different. Uh, I don't know how big the current Kojima team is. Probably hundreds, but I know that they outsource. I had a friend of mine who was working at uh, a Sony studio that was not Kojima Productions, but they were borrowing them basically. So for like a year or two, during Death Stranding, they were building assets for Death Stranding and then just sending it in. But that was when Kojima was still building his new team under Sony. You see a lot of the same names here. You see that? Look at that. Uh, so Yoji Shinkawa, uh, his first gig, but he was also art directing it, doing uh, character design, mechanical design, looked like he did a little bit of modeling uh, uh, 3d modeling and then also storyboards and you can, if you get the art books man like you can see just how much uh, was uh, 
was done by each person. Like just, you know, everybody wears so many hats when you're in a small development team. There's something very personal, I think, about it. And I, I, in a lot of ways, it feels like an indie game. That's something that I kind of regret about all the technological development and advancement that games have kind of come through. It seems now like it's somewhat impersonal you know, when you're working on it. Uh, when you're working on a game, because you know sometimes uh, you know you get into a lot of trouble if you try to wear too many hats, <laughs> uh, because you got uh, you know you don't want to step on other people's toes. The politics become more of an important part of the day to day. It's like you know, you just want to make games, you know. Um, but when you're a small development team, there's a lot less of that. There's a lot more familiarity with the whole team. I think my ideal development team would be less than 12 people. You could actually know everyone on the whole team. Look at this. They're it's like the same names over and over doing multiple, multiple roles. Is that six programmers? Amazing, truly amazing game. We're still watching because there's always a post credit scene that kind of uh, sets things up for a sequel. There we go. I think it's coming up. Did this one? This one had one. I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life and then live. Yeah, subliminally, it's kind of a consistency throughout the whole game. entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox dies should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity. But he's been disposed of. Yes, the inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus. What? What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. <laughs> Solidus is the president. Uh, so this, the playthrough that I've done is the canon playthrough. So Snake did rescue uh, Meryl. He also rescued uh, Atacon as well. Uh, see, it gives you a code name. I'm a leopard. <laughs> Special items, camera and bandana. I already have the camera, man. Uh, looks like that was a total of 10 hours and 36 play times or uh, play hours. You know, uh, I, I saved 11 times. I died a few times. I died a few times. Um, there was maybe once that you didn't see. Only once. 73 rations used. <laughs> Those credits are so long that my controller disconnected. Well, yeah, save it. Uh, so, dudes, uh, oh, I did a little bit more research on Integral, uh, the Japanese-only release. It's also, uh, if you got the PC release in the U.S., that's basically the Integral release. Um, where I'm not going to play that. I'm not going to play through it because there's not much of that all that's that's different. The only thing that's different is you could play in first person view, but it's not particularly good <laughs> from what I saw. The footage that I saw, 
not particularly good. You can't really aim much. But anyways, um, thank you so much for allowing me to indulge uh, myself and play this game uh, with you. It's been quite a uh, pleasure. I do really want to do the uh, sequel, Metal Gear Solid 2. I just need to figure out how to capture it, you know? It's a little tricky on a Mac, but uh, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. We're gonna dig in, we're gonna play a little bit more, but it's gonna be a little while because I got, like I said, I got a comic that I'm doing. I got uh, the Creed Reimaginary comic that I'm finishing up the final polishes on the last five pages. I'm adding six new pages to book two. Actually, more than that that I've already finished. Um, it's keeping me, it's keeping me pretty busy, I'd say. So, anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, come on back for some art stuff that's going to be happening real soon here on my channel. Thanks, dudes, so much for watching my playthrough, and please do leave a comment below on what games you'd like to see me play next. All right.